Hi everybody! Welcome to my channel! I am Nitin Piki and I am so grateful that you have clicked on my channel for your entertainment. Grateful? So grateful. So the aim of this channel is to grow the love of science, of academia, also kind of helping people going through science and academia during university, just helping that process be a bit more easily and not so much heartbreaking. <laughs> So if those are interesting to you, please subscribe to this channel. Okay, so before I even talk about what I want to talk about today, I just wanted to break down um, the format of my videos from now on. So on Wednesdays, I wanted to focus more on academia. So focus on things on um, degrees, um, how to cope, um, how, what to choose, where to go, all the things that I wish I knew, wish I knew when I was going through university. Um, so those are Wednesdays. So academia-based context is on Wednesdays. Then on Sundays, I really want to post something science-based, but not just regular schmegular science. I want to post things that are science-based that you may not think are science-based. I want to blow your mind to... I want to literally blow your mind in how science is literally so relevant in every single thing that we do. And like everything that we do is science. So yeah, I really want to do that. So that's just the breakdown of my video. Thank you so, 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 so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I can't believe how much we've grown in such a short span of time. And I'm just so grateful for all of you who have subscribed to my channel. If you know, my goal this year was only just to reach 50 subscribers by the end of the year. And we have succeeded that goal immensely and i'm just so grateful to all of you honestly um, i'm gonna like shoot my shots here and also ask you if you like my content or like things or my ideologies here please subscribe to my channel i kind of want to reach i'm being a bit too eager now but i kind of want to reach 200 by the end of the year i know the year is ending in like a couple of weeks but i don't know i'm just being too eager now but if that could be something that we could do um i'd really appreciate that um also if you could follow me on instagram i know i don't post there a lot you know i know i know but um i will be now <laughs> I will be now or I will try to be more um, but yes if you could also do that that would be great but also everything on your own world your own person with your own thoughts and your own juju so you can do that by yourself so but just thank you again just I know I'm rambling I'm gonna stop now but like thank you today's video is talking about what things what steps you can do if you didn't get into medicine I wanted to break this video up into two parts so this part part one we'll be talking about if you from you know if you from a trick and you're going to university but you didn't get into medicine what can you do part two would be from if you're already in tertiary or have some sort of um tertiary degree or diploma already what steps you can do or what do you need in your environment now or what you need to add on to your already existing degree to be able to be eligible for medicine so part one is for my younglings and my youngsters and then part two will be for my old oaks <laughs> so part two i'll be posting next week and part one will be today so, these are the things that i've been researching and also have hand experience or have exposure to that I know that can help you to able to transfer and to transition to medicine if you didn't get in the first time. Before I start, I feel like I need to say this all the time is that you this what I'm saying now is no guarantees. Okay, nothing in this life is guaranteed, but these are things that can help you increase your chances to get into medicine. Firstly, I would like to say stop being so hard on yourself. Okay, calm down. <laughs> I know you're panicking, I know you're anxious, I know you're upset that you didn't get into medicine. Girl, boy, non-binary friend, I feel you, okay? I was you, okay? I remember when I didn't get into medicine the first time, or the second time, or the third time. <laughs> but I remember when I didn't get into medicine in my matric year, I did that crying where you like, you cry, but your mouth is open, there's no sound coming out, like, I did that and I was so upset and I was so hard on myself when I was able to get in. But the fact that you firstly got accepted to university regardless if you didn't get accepted to medicine is an achievement. Do you know that the top 10% of matrix are the ones who get into university? So the fact that you got into university means that you are part of the top 10 graduates of matrix. Like, dude calm down you did so well you should be proud of yourself and your achievements don't degrade your achievements because this is you didn't get the thing that you wanted to do know that 
may not be the time now but maybe your time in the future just allow yourself enough to and accept yourself enough to be grateful that you even made it into university so that's number one let's get into the practical stuff now one thing you can do and it's something that i preach on this channel all the time is doing a bsc or if you want to doing a medical related degree so bscs are usually one of the strongest ways that you can transition into medicine after you're done with your tertiary degree so if you haven't applied for bsc in university as your second option or your bsc that you've chosen is not something that is related to human biology i would suggest to you when you get into orientation next year to transfer your um to transfer your bsc into a bsc that involves human life sciences i've made a video already about what types of bscs are human life or human biology based which is i'll link it somewhere down either in the description or able to do that thing on youtube where it pops up on the side but i'm able to do that but i'll link you to the the bscs that will be the most appropriate for you to do if you want to transfer into medicine the second thing you can do is if you don't want to do a bsc and you really want to do the second option that you chose for yourself but you're thinking that you might want to transfer into medicine maybe later on in your um degree or want to transfer to medicine after your degree i would suggest that you do courses in biology chemistry and physics most universities do have standalone courses or modules that you can do in those types of modules so you can do a standalone biology chemistry and physics um, degree within university but most people tend to do this through unisa now why do you need to do these three things to be able to do, do medicine the majority of the time universities are looking at um, candidates or applicants that they want who want to transfer into medicine these three modules are prerequisites just to be considered as an applicant another thing you can do and it's something that it may sound a bit weird when i say it but it actually could be one of the best options you can actually do for yourself and that's looking overseas to study now i know as soon as you heard overseas the immediate thing you thought was the expense of it and honestly it, there is expenses of course in it but when you when i'm saying look or study overseas i'm not saying go to your uk's or go to your your americas i'm saying going to countries that have been known to be very friendly to international students and a lot of south africans seem to also gravitate to those schools a lot of the times these schools are usually in eastern europe so schools in the ukraine in russia and romania those schools are tend to be international student friendly as well as schools in china has also been an option that a lot of students take um when they haven't dedicated to medicine in south africa now there are like obvious caveats to those things things like language barriers will obviously be something also things like traveling back and forth from south africa to those countries the, that expense and so the expense of living there and um living there and being sustainable there those are things that you have to think about but for example in eastern europe like it's actually free like university is free okay not like free it's free in terms of that you don't pay for the academia you pay for resources so you give like a statement every month that you give into the university that allows you to use the university resources like the printers the computers all those stuff but the actual education there that's free so those are the expenses you have to think about when you are thinking about maybe doing overseas there are a lot of youtubers on this platform that are overseas students who are overseas who are doing um medicine overseas who are explaining a bit more in depth than me i would suggest that you look at those um youtubers i haven't seen one from South african i've seen someone from nigeria so i feel like that may be the closest one we can get but if there are south africans who are international medical students please help these children out you know let them know what they can expect when they are or they decide to go overseas for academia and just give them a helping hand I feel like if you comment down below and that's something you really want to think about like studying in like eastern europe or in china um let me know and i will add, i know one person who is in um 
overseas and is doing medicine so i'll ask them if they could help me help you make a video about studying overseas in medicine just let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you'd be interested in and the final thing that i think that could be a good option for you is to try to redo some of your marks now redoing or rewriting is something that doesn't happen easily there's a lot of litigation that you have to go through for you to be able to be eligible to write or redo your marks and even though i'm putting this as an option i it's one of the most unrealistic options honestly that i can i'm giving you to be honest because like the department of education doesn't really easily allow kids to rewrite their marks you really have to give them oodles and oodles of like um reasons why you need to rewrite but if you manage to scurry around that and you manage to be able to um rewrite your um metric marks then that's great but the more realistic option in that kind of bubble is to do something like called a year 13. so a year 13 is kind of like an extension of your metric year where you kind of do um it's kind of like some iba ibs ieb schools like the independent international universities or schools do where it's kind of like an extension of your matric year so you kind of learn first year university stuff but not in the context of being in university so you would have a certificate like saying that you are like a year 13 kind of person and that gets included in your transcripts when you want to apply for something so at out of that bubble doing a year 13 will most probably be the more realistic option however those things are also um applying for them and um, funding for them also those things those are things you have to consider when thinking about doing a year 13 but if it's it made it if you really don't want to go if you're like how do i put this if you really don't want to go through the whole thing of first doing one degree to transfer into doing another and you really just want to go into medicine doing a year 13 may be like the best option you can do but yet again it's not a guarantee that you're going to get into medicine but it does still put you under the umbrella of um, being a matriculant which is the main majority of uh, medical students that most universities will look at is their matrics those are the ones they will look at the most so you have more than like appearing compared to your other applicants so yeah um as i say all the time i'm never sure how i'm being perceived in these videos so if there's something that i'm saying that you don't think i'm not making any sense or you need more explanation on please comment down below or dm me i'm like open book dms you can ask me anything and i'll try my best to try and answer you as much as i can um thank you so much again for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for being here and again please follow me on instagram if that's something your heart desires and i hope to see you soon